All right, M MMA fans, I'm here with uh, 2022 PFL heavyweight champion, Mr. Ante Deglia. Ante, welcome back on Short Dog. How are you, brate? Well, it's super. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? How was your training? Uh, or, yeah, how were your training sessions today? Danes smo sparirali, prošli odličan dan, sparirali sam s dva sparing partnera i trenamo stvarno jako, na pola kampa smo i trenam šampionski. Today it was a hard sparring day, I had two sparring partners mixing on me, I got four round hard sparring, it is champions round and we are doing what champions must do. May I ask your name of your uh, sparring partners? Uh, Anton Turkal, Ivan Erslan, and uh, Satoshi Ishii, and uh, Matej Batinic. Oh. Okay, that's good, that's good. I know, uh, actually, I know all of them. Uh, um, Anton Turkal is still in the UFC, of course. Uh, yeah, that, those are very, very good names. Listen, finally, the belt came back to Croatia. How does it feel for you to be the 2022 heavyweight champion in the Professional Fighters League? Pa ja sam ponosan što je pojas u Hrvatskoj i što je općenito PFL pojas u Europi. Mislim da to velika stvar i ono baš sam baš sam ponosan jako. I'm very proud that the PFL belt is in Croatia and not even in Croatia but in Europe because I think it is it is a really big thing to to get the uh, USA belt uh, to Europe so I'm I'm very proud and I'm very happy I never had the chance to ask you this but I saw that Mirko Krokop congratulated you on your victory how much does it mean for you to receive uh, Krokop's congratulations uh Mirko vidio da Mirko Prokop ti čestitao na na pobjedi i koliko te znači to njegova čestitka Pa ja sam bio sparring partner Mirka i tu sam ona i tu sam u njegovoj dvorani treniram najbolji smo prijatelji družimo se svaki dan i on je vrlo ponosan na mene i sretan što sam napravio takav rezultat So I was basically Krokop training partner sparring partner in the his uh, uh, last few fights and after that we became uh, like best friends i train in his gym i'm like uh, in in his home in his home gym so so i'm uh, like he he's very proud and he's very happy he always told me i i could do it so he just uh, like uh, get confirmation of his words you know right now you are scheduled to you are attempting to capture the belt one more time this year you told me the importance of having a, an European PFL champion. Are you planning, I don't know, are you or at least wanted to ask the PFL to allow you to fight for the belt in Europe sooner or later? You know, in the finals, maybe they can hold the finals in Europe sooner or later? Znači, uh, rekao se da je velika stvar za, da imaš pojas i ove godine opet želiš obraniti pojas. Da li bi tebi bila velika stvar da obrana tog pojasa u finalu bude negdje u Europi? Pa naravno da bi, da bi mi puno značilo, mislim da bi došlo puno mojih navijača i mislim da bi u nekom gradu da bi sigurno ona imao veliku podršku i puno lakše se bori u Europi nego putovati u Ameriku. Of course, it would, it would mean a lot to me because a uh, lot of my fans would come and support me. I think we will uh, we will uh, crowd the are arena and uh, it's much easier to fight here in Europe than to travel to the United States, of course. You are coming off uh, a stoppage over Matteo Scheffel, uh, a first round stoppage over your past opponent. How much confidence had you going into that fight since you already had defeated Scheffel once in your career? Znači, u finalu se bore sa Scheffelom kojeg si već pobjedio prije u grupi, koliko si bio, koliko ti to samopoznanje donijelo, s obzirom da si ga već jednom pobjedio, koliko si se osjećao samopoznano. Mislim, mislim to iskustvo koje sam imao u finalu prošle godine proti Bruna Kapeloze, da mi je to 
da mi je to više bio vjetar u leđa, sam znao kako to izgleda i prošao sam to, tako da mi je to, mislim, bila olakotna okolnost za, za ovaj meč. So I think uh, basically uh, the best thing for me was that I already felt how it's to be in the finals when I fought Bruno Capelosa and uh, a year before and uh, and I know what uh, pressure the final brings so I could handle it much better this year so it was like the best thing for me. And um, right now you're scheduled to take on uh, Maurice Green on June 6th. Uh, sorry, on June sixteenth, uh, you do you expect anything uh, unusual coming from uh, Green, considering that he is John John's sparring partner? Boris, se sa Maurice Greenom, da li čekuješ nešto što možda nisi vidio od njega, s obzirom da je on sparring partner John John? Pa vjerujem da ja vjerujem, stvarno njega da je jako dobar borac, da je tvrd borac. Ja se spremam kao za finale i bit ću spreman sto posto i mislim da bez obzira što ima John Jonesa kao sparring partnera da, da mu neće pomoći. So I think of him as a tough tough opponent, good guy. I'm preparing myself as it it is for the finals. I know he is one of the sparring partners of John Jones, but it will not help him when we, when we when we fight. What's the motivation for this year? You already captured the belt. What is it that motivate? Uh, and you also pocketed that one million dollar prize, which is, you know, quite big. What is it that motivates you this year? What is it that motivates you this year? So the, bi the biggest motivation is fighting with Francis Ngannou, of course. Yes, the PFL just announced that uh, they signed the uh, former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. Oh, you are telling me that you would like to face him. Uh, how do you see that fight playing out, though? I think So I think 100% Francis Ngano is the most dangerous fighter on this planet. I want to test myself against the best guys in the world, against the most dangerous guys. So I just want to see how that plays out for me. I hope PFL gives me the opportunity to, to fight with him and to see who is a better man. And do you think that the shortest way, the shortest path to face Francis Ngano is to capture the belt again this year? Misliš da je najbrži put do Francis Ngannou da ove godine opet osvojiš? Pa mislim da da, mislim da mi je to jedini put, ono, tako da... Eto, videli smo počistio UFC konkurenciju, ono, tre, mislim da treba da priliku nama da se borimo proti njega. I think that's the only way I could get uh, the fight with Francis Ngannou. He cleared the division in UFC, so it's time for us to, to, to see how we handle with him. You mentioned, uh, also mentioned Bruno Capelloza. Is that uh, a rematch you would like to to do in your career? You would you like to face Bruno Capelloza again sooner or later? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm uh, interested in the rematch with Bruno. I'm expecting that match, certainly, in the PFL. Isto tako. Absolutely, absolutely. I I want to, to fight once again Bruno Capelloza, and I'm expecting in the future to fight him in the PFL. Ante, Vala, best of luck with the Rakomi fight. Hopefully, I will hear again from in the future. Thank you, brother. Hola, Thank Tebi. you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, guys. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.